Per every square kilometer, there are over half a million pieces of microplastics in our Great Lakes. We as humans pollute and contaminate our lakes, leaving debris such as plastic bags and water bottles. These break down, becoming small pieces of plastic known as microplastics. However, microplastics can come from various household items such as soaps, cosmetics, and clothing. That is very alarming. So what are microplastics, you may be wondering? Microplastics are small pieces of plastic that are at least 5 millimeters or less. They do not degrade or dissolve, which is an issue that impacts the environment and us. They are most commonly made up of polyethylene, and microplastics are used in exfoliating personal care products and toothpaste. Water has a cycle for its movement within our community. Where does it start? In our homes, of course. When we turn on the tap, flush our toilets, take a shower, or do the laundry, it becomes wastewater. It goes down the drain while it will exit your home to the wastewater treatment facility in your area. So why are microplastics so bad for our environment? They are a major problem in our ecosystem because once it's in the lakes, it can travel to many other areas, carrying the particles with them, such as the ocean. Fish and sea life can accidentally ingest them, and when it gets into the aquatic life's body, it can cause problems such as miscarriage in offsprings, reproductive failures, disruption in hormones, as well as digestive problems. From ingesting it, they intake chemicals from the foreign objects. The chemicals are made within the plastics. It comes a full circle because many people in the world eat fish, which can be contaminated with the physical debris or the chemical leftovers in its bloodstream. It also affects our leisurely time in the morning because that is another pollutant in our recreational areas. Let's take it to the streets to see what our fellow community members can tell us about this issue. We also had the amazing pleasure to interview our mayor, Bonnie Crombie, on our issue. We interviewed Claire, a worker at the Central Library at Mississauga. We asked questions such as, do you use synthetic closing material? And she said no, which is great because over time when the materials get loose, it releases fibers which are not biodegradable. Hello, my name is Bonnie Crombie and I'm the mayor of the great city of Mississauga. So this is a concern because 10 million people um, get their drinking water from Lake Ontario. I call out to all our citizens, all our residents, to avoid using microplastics, and I call on all the manufacturers uh, to make a commitment to phase out the use of microbeads and microplastics as well from the products that they make. They have to understand it's unsafe for the environment, it's unsafe for our ecosystem, and it's unsafe for human consumption. And we're writing a letter to the federal and the provincial government asking them to label products so people are aware that there are microbeads, microplastics in products um, and that they could so they will refrain from using them. Some of the things we question our fellow citizens are the things you can do at home. Clothing that you wash should be monitored. Setting a weekly schedule for when you want to wash in your clothing at a minimum amount can also help so your clothing do not wear down releasing fibers. Getting rid of soaps toothpaste or face washes that use exfoliating beads is another step you can take. To find out more about microplastics, check out our website. We even have Instagram and Twitter, so everyone from anywhere can keep in contact with us. I'm Cassandra. I'm Kamil. I'm Renji. And I'm Amkar. And we are the Guardians of the Lakes. The next time you use water, think carefully of what you do. Because taking care of it all starts with you. 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 you.